Your go-to sort of relaxed drink, what do you what do you usually have? Is it a beer? I'm a or beer drinker. I mean, beer generally drinker? speaking, you know, my beverage of choice is uh, I'm drinking a pint of beer. Yeah. Well, this is more of a special occasion thing. Are you a, when it comes to the pint of beer that you drink, do you, are you drinking sort of your, your standard beers, like Budweiser or something like that, or do you go for the sort of craft brew? Micro Somewhere brew. in the middle would be ideal, you know. I mean, I get a, I get a tremendous amount of uh, grief online, uh, on social media, every time on my show that I'm drinking sort of a, you know, a commercially available beer in a green bottle. You know, a respectable, a reasonably respectable mass market beer. I always say, how could you be in, you know, Portland and, and not, you know, be drinking the, you know, this craft <laughs> raspberry Mumford & Sons IPA, you know? <laughs> Um, because I like cold beer, you know? I like beer that's at hand, uh, and I, I frankly don't like a beer. It's hot, and you don't want a heavy beer. You want, like, and I don't want, like, fruity notes, or I don't want it to be complex. I don't want to have to think about it. I certainly don't want anybody talking about it as they serve it to me, you know? They're <laughs> telling me the story of, you know, uh, you know uh, notes of hippie is not something I want in my beer. <laughs> when, it comes to your, when it comes to your liquor, do you like the story that comes along with it, though? Um... I don't need that, <laughs> but but I mean, I, I generally, uh, I, I appreciate it. I mean, this this is a good one, uh, and I very much appreciate <laughs> it. I mean, I've actually seen them make this stuff, and it's kind of, you know, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I go to a restaurant or to a bar, I, I just give me the basics, and I'm, I think yeah. the product, you know, is, whether it's wine or beer or anything, it's going to speak for itself. Uh, I love good wine, but I tune out after a certain amount of detail has been given to me. Yeah. Like, I, I just need the year, like, the year, where it's from, and what I can kind of expect right. in terms of taste and sort of weight. And then if there's any more, I'm like, I Oh, yeah, I finished drinking it five minutes ago. You're still talking. You know, it's like, <laughs> it shouldn't take you 12 minutes to make my drink either. You know, there's the eyedropper and the 12, 13 components. How do you go... You ever, you ever been in one of the craft cocktail bars? Yeah. You know, you go in. You, Sorry. Yeah, you go <laughs> in with suck. a friend. I mean, the idea of going to a bar is to drink with your friends, not sit there staring at your drink, waiting another ten minutes for your friend to get their drink. Or by the time your friend get, get you know, they construct this you know twelve component drink and squeeze the pomegranate in and jam in all the fresh herbs and the sausage or whatever. You know, you're done. Uh, you it's, can't, it's not so. It's antisocial. If you can't make me my drink in a couple minutes, and you also like, I can't taste the actual liquor in my drink anymore. I don't want anything to do with that. I especially right. don't want too much sugar in my drinks ever. I don't know. There's. Uh, I go through. I, I really hate myself. I want to go to a tiki bar once a year. <laughs> Well, and yeah, I would just that, like you know just face plant it to a scorpion ball. That's that Come like on. that's that like dark alley chaser in you that like wants the worst that life can offer just to right. experience. Tonight it. I need to drink out of a skull and wake up feel feeling really really bad about myself tomorrow. <laughs> you know. So.